If you're thinking about installing solar panels for your home in Arizona, then stop right there. I want you to watch this video first because I'm gonna be showing you the various rebates and incentives that are available for doing solar in Arizona and also how to maximize your dollar for dollar payback. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course here at Solar Surge, we're doing primarily renewable energy, solar power with battery backup, and sometimes even generator backup as well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you the various solar rebates and incentives that are available for Arizona, and also some of the special considerations of how you might use a battery to even boost uh, your solar savings even more. So the first thing to know about doing solar in Arizona is that Arizona is one of the best solar states in the country. And it's for two main reasons. Number one is that you get more sunlight than most of the rest of the country. So for every solar panel you install, it's going to produce about 20% more energy each year than a solar panel that's installed in other parts of the country. So just the environmental um, uh, context of doing solar in Arizona is very, very favorable to the system owner. The other thing that you have going for you is that uh, relative to the rest of the nation, construction labor rates are lower in Arizona. So we can offer the installation of the solar power system for a much lower price than in other parts of the country. So the panels cost less to install and they produce about 20% more energy because of the abundant sunlight that you have there. The state policy in Arizona is also very much pro-solar in terms of the tax code. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take advantage of is the sales tax exemption. Meaning if, if you're a do-it-yourself solar uh, homeowner, you don't have to pay any sales tax on the solar equipment that you purchase there. Uh, in fact, if that's the type of project you're doing, I highly recommend Northern Arizona Wind and Sun as an equipment supplier. Uh, the website is solar-electric.com. Again, that's solar-electric.com for Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Uh, they're a great supplier if you're looking at, especially if you're looking at an off-the-grid project. Uh, also, if you get a residential solar power system installed, the solar improvement is exempt for real estate tax assessment. Meaning that although the solar power system will increase your home's resale value, because you know whoever's coming in, they're gonna have a, a, a reduced electric bill as maybe backup power. So you will, in most cases, be able to sell the home for a higher price, but you will not be assessed at a higher rate for your real estate taxes. Finally, Arizona has a state investment tax credit, 25% uh, of the total solar project cost uh, including both m the materials and the installation, 25% uh, of your project cost will get credited against your state income tax. Uh, it is capped at $1,000. So essentially, you know, if you were to do a $4,000 $4, system, you'll get the $1,000 credited back on your state taxes when you, you file your tax return. So things looking very, very good here. Okay, the other thing to be aware of in Arizona is that the state no longer has wide availability of net metering. And what net metering means is that your, your relationship with the power company is a two-way relationship and the price is the same each way. Meaning that when, when they're selling you electricity, you pay the same rate as when you're, you're selling your excess solar back to them during high daylight hours, they have to credit you at the same price. Now, instead, the way they do things in Arizona is they have a separate retail sales rate, which is what you would pay to the power company when you're consuming energy in from them. And then they have a separate export rate. So when, you know, when your solar panels are in full sunlight and you have abundant e electricity, you're actually gonna be selling your excess back to the power company. It's the export rate that you get paid when you have that excess flowing back. Now, there could be a significant difference between those two rates. For example, you may have a consumption rate of 15 cents per kilowatt hour, but an export rate of only 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, this depends on where you are within the state and who your utility company is. But basically what that means is that when they're charging you, that you have to pay them a higher price, but when, when you're selling it to them, 
they're going to pay you a lower price to allow you to export. Now, the way that you can get around this, or at least one way you can get around this, is by integrating battery storage with your solar power system. Not only does the battery backup provide protection from utility outages and you know from inclement weather or what have you, but the battery can also be used on a daily basis to help you maximize the self-consumption of your own solar energy. The more of your own solar energy you can consume yourself directly is the less that you have to purchase from the power company at that higher rate. So for example, you could be powering your home uh, on solar power during daylight hours. You could also be charging up a bank of batteries so you have energy stored up so that after the sun goes down, you can then draw energy from that battery so that the energy that you collected during daylight stored in the battery can be then uh, drained or consumed overnight so that you're still running on solar energy even though the sun has gone down and then of course the next day the sun comes back up the solar panels take over the house load and then they recharge the battery so if you're on one of these utilities where they have the the separate uh, consumption rate and the export rate having a battery backup can really help you to boost your dollar for dollar payback in that self-consumption so folks if this is something that you'd like to take a look at for your home specifically what the options are we have great partners down in Arizona right now, and as I said, we were able to offer some of the most competitive rates for installation uh, compared to other parts of the country. So as always, if you'd like to get a free no obligation estimate, you know, feel free to reach out to us at the link below there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll set up about a 30 minute virtual uh, conference call, discuss what your needs and what your goals are, and then I'll be able to provide that no obligation uh, estimate for you. You know, and folks, as always, if you're getting good information from the, the videos that we have on the channel, make sure you click on that like button. That way it'll force YouTube to show this video to more people. And of course, click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos that we're putting out. Right now we're working on a pace of about three to four new videos per week, and we don't want to make sure that you don't miss anything. So folks, thanks again for tuning in today. We really do appreciate you visiting in with us. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.